Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a box of 2023-24 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. First off the line, pick your team number 11. And if you got, if you follow the instructions, you got a chance at $500 of break credit. Winner take all. Basically by an even number of teams, half that amount becomes entries for break credit. Big thanks to this group for getting in on it. Thursday the 27th, number 11. There's everybody right here. Nick with that last spot mojo. All right, now we only have two boxes left. So we'll go one, two, three for the top box, four, five, six for the bottom box. And it's six, bottom box. And we'll save this box for the next break, which is already in single digits. Finish 12 box, finish 11 boxes of a 12 box case one at a time. Thanks everybody. All right, good luck everybody. The draft is, is over. NBA draft over, two nights was too much for two rounds, but you know, I guess if the network's gonna keep paying for it, I guess I suppose, suppose they'll do it. Any surprises for anybody? Any, any, anyone who, I haven't really read all the analysis. Anyone think anybody reached did anyone get steals? Apparently, a lot of lot of pundits, for whatever that's worth, and even fans are suggesting that the Lakers' 17th pick, Dalton Necht, was a was a steal. I think a lot of people had him. Maybe, I mean, the Rob Palinka, the Lakers GM, said, "Hey, if we had the 10th pick, we probably would have taken this guy, Dalton Necht." So we were thrilled to have him. And that might just be GM bluster, but but. Uh, but what else? What do, you, what do you think? Woods, what do you think? Minnesota stole Rob Dillingham for future picks. I was surprised by that. I thought the Spurs would just be stacking assets year after year, but instead they're... Rob Dillingham is going to go to Minnesota, a team that didn't have a first-round pick. Now they pretty much get the eighth overall pick for draft picks in 2030-something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the Spurs are thinking slow and steady. You know, they're looking ahead six years down the line. You know, when Wemby will most likely be in his prime. Maybe that suggests, hey, Minnesota is in a win now mode. That's a great pickup, though. Kevin thinks Memphis could have traded back for Edie. Maybe Edie went a little too high. Who people certainly say that he can he can certainly score, but can he defend NBA players at the NBA level? Let's flip these around here. Brothers were uh, were drafted. Cody Williams, who I think is Jalen Williams' brother, was drafted, and then Max Christie's brother. I think Cameron Christie was drafted by the Clippers in the second round somewhere. I think there were some others too. I had someone, I saw someone who had Nikola Topic, the point guard from the Serbian point guard that OKC got, had him at, at pretty high in their draft boards. So, All right, let's go. There's Kamara to 199. That's going to go to Portland. That'll be for Michael. Isaiah Stewart, RJ Barrett. Lights out Amen Thompson. 
And we got the world champ, Jason Tatum, 249. Trey Young Rising Suns, what does Atlanta do? A lot of rumors about Trey Young being traded or DeJounta Murray being traded. There's LeBron James, him and his son are gonna play together to 149. Got a chance if Bronny makes the team, I guess. I'm sure, I'm sure he will. There's a nice Brandon Miller. Charlotte Hornets, that's gonna to go to Brian. Brian Watford with the Charlotte Hornets gets Brandon. Heard the biggest losers were the Bucks. Who did the, who did the Bucks get? Here's Amen Thompson, Dominators Hollow, and the autograph. Is that D Wade? Wow, nice, Elite Series, Dwayne Wade autograph. Tristan with the Miami Heat. Fifty nine out of ninety nine, not bad. Michael gets the Rockets, gets the Amen Thompson, Dominators, Hollow. Terrence Mann to two forty nine for the Clippers, that'll be for Kevin. And there is your uh, exclusive eleven S seventeen Robert Covington, Sixers, Travis with the purple stars. There's Red Hot Rookies, Derek Lively for Dallas. That's going to go to Michael. Is Dwayne Wade really part owner of the Jazz? How did your Jazz do, Logan, in the draft? What do you think? There's Chris Murray to 79. And that is that. Nice Dwayne Wade in here. No Wembenyamas, unfortunately. But maybe we'll see him in the last box, the final box. Now. Break credit possibilities. Who's gonna win that break credit? Let's flip back to the list. Let's alphabetize by first names. So Ben, you got four teams, that's two entries. Kevin, you got two teams, that's an entry. Kirk, two teams, that's an entry. Matthew L, two teams, an entry. Michael J, eight teams, that's four entries. Nick with one spot. Travis with two teams, that's an entry. And Tristan with eight teams, that's four entries. All right, so let me just spot check this here. We got Ben's two entries, Kevin's entry, Kirk's entry, Matthew's entry, Michael's four. You got eight teams, four entries. Um, Travis, two teams, an entry, and then Tristan got eight teams. That's four entries. Just want to make sure I got everybody. All right, great. All right, good luck. Name on top gets five hundred dollars break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. After eight, two and a six, eight times. Fingers crossed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eighth and final time, it's Tristan. Congrats, Tristan. After two and a six, eight times, your name's on top. $500 of break credit going your way. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me, everybody. And I'll see you next time for the next one.